We're back. <laughs> Sup dudes, I'm Nate Heater. And I'm Frank Lamontia. And we, we are, are the, the Sup dudes. dudes. And we want to apologize for our long hiatus. We had a lot of stuff going on. And, and it really wasn't too much to watch anyway. Or that no. we wanted to watch. So. Yep. But since we are back, we got to do it. You know where we're at? In a car, in a parking lot, at a movie theater. You know what that means? Say it with me, everybody. Movie, movie review time. time. Woo! I missed that. I don't. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we just saw Doctor Strange, mm. Multiverse of Madness, I think it was. Uh, into the Multiverse of Madness. In, into, into the Multiverse of Madness. Into the Multiverse of Madness. We'll put the, yeah. if we're wrong, we'll put the title up now. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I don't know if you've been watching us. You know, I'm not a comic yep. person, so I don't remember all the names. But, uh, yeah. And, and, and uh, strange it was, but <laughs> And at this point, we usually mention the big name actors, but... There's way too many, so yeah. just pop them up right now. We got the main guy. Yeah, Benedict Cumberbund. Yeah, that's Doctor Strange, yep. as you know. Yep. And then a whole bunch of others. Yep, so. <laughs> anyway, I liked it. Frank didn't. It. Let's get into it. I guess I'll go first since we're back. Go ahead. Um, as, out of the two of us, I guess I would say I'm the more superhero yeah. kind of guy. I have a little bit more. Not a whole lot. I don't want to say I'm a superhero I nerd. I don't follow them. I mean, I like some superhero movies. I just don't follow them. Yeah. I'm not well versed in them but out of the two of us i th i guess i think i would have the tiny little bit of knowledge i guess you could say i'm that well multiversed in them oh god <laughs> do not make me put up a pun counter in this do not make yeah, me put up a pun okay, counter okay. so again it's marvel so everyone knows the characters of marvel and if you've seen the trailers i'm pretty sure you, a lot of them are spoiled if you see the poster you know who the person dr strange is fighting but i will say it was very action-packed, which I like. Pretty gory with a couple of the kills, even though you didn't really see a lot of the gore. But some of the special effects, CGI, some of the makeup they did, loved it for a PG-13 movie, of all things. There was actually conversations about whether this movie should be PG-13 or rated R. Because some, th some things were like a little gory, they said. I guess. So that's a big thing, so I will say that. Um, Benedict Cumberbund, he's just... Be respectful, will you? No. All right, cucumber patch. He he's like the M Night Shyamalanmala. We don't pronounce his name right. Okay. He's a good actor. We've seen him before. He's a very good in, actor. We've seen him before in Spider Man No Way Home, where he played Doctor Strange mm -hmm. into that multiverse, and he was also in The Courier yeah. as the Courier. the Courier. And we're not just saying that because we forgot his name at all. We just realized he is the Courier. But really good actor, Benedict. We appreciate you if you watch these movie, um, reviews. He probably doesn't. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sure we're at the top of his watch list. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think her name was Emily Olsen, the girl who plays the Scarlet Witch. It was Olsen. I, I think it's that. Emily Olsen. I can't remember. If not, I'll flash it up. Um, she's always good. Of course, everyone knows her from WandaVision. I thought we weren't doing uh, names. Well, no, I'm just because this is my goods. Ah, okay. WandaVision. Uh, everyone knows her from Disney Plus. She's good in that as a Scarlet Witch. And then I cannot, for the life of me, pronounce the little girl's name. So I'm not even gonna try. Yeah, it's uh, it's a rough one. And it's she Gar Garcia, I think, is her last name. <laughs> That's the only thing we can pronounce. She was good in it. I will say that. Um, like I said, action packed. Um, a lot of the camera work was really nice. CGI looked pretty well at times. And I will say, even though it lost me at a couple points because I didn't see the first Doctor Strange, I'll admit, I didn't see the first oh. one. Okay, so I'm not the only one? Nope. But I will say it did keep my interest for a lot. So that's my goods, Frank. Well, a lot of CGI. A lot of CGI. Well, Matter in a movie fact, like that. I mean, the credits were uh, endless. And it wasn't just long. They were like three and four columns wide. And uh, <laughs> still very long credits for a whole lot of stuff. Anyway, but a lot of CGI... A lot of good action. The music was good. And as far as the story, uh, I got lost a few times. Like I said, I'm not into all the, the Marvel or the DC characters too much. But um, even, like, I, I didn't even know what the hell was going on half the time. Like, <laughs> But uh, hey, it kept me awake. It wasn't horrible, horrible, but uh, I I didn't care for it. It was because there was still a lot of silliness in it too, and that always bothers me. 
a lot of illogical stuff. Um, you know, I know they're superheroes and stuff, so it's just, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense to me some of the things they do. I mean, if you're a superhero and you have these awesome powers to do things, I don't know why you can't use them all the time. But I because guess it would the make movie a very would, short movie. I was about to say, the movie would be like five minutes. <laughs> But anyway, I know, but it's it, they should come up with another way to to make it make sense. Anyway, I I, I didn't like it. That's that's all you're gonna say that's for bads. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't care. Bads, I will say at the end it got a little sappy. But then again, that what too. what superhero movie doesn't really get sappy at the end? Like mm. I could probably name like two, but I can't even think of them right now. But a lot of superhero movies, you know, they always end sappy, so they have to do it. Did the Batman get sappy? Maybe a little bit. At with, the end, with, it did. With Catwoman. A yeah, bit. Catwoman and Batman leaving. Catwoman yeah. wanted him to come with her. Yeah, but that was, that was, at least that was only a couple minutes there. But not. Yep. So there was that, of course, a little sappy at the end. But again, superhero movies have to do it, you know, to bring the story together, including like our last ones. Our last couple of movies have been superhero movies. Yeah. Well, that's what's. I mean, it seems like they're churning one out every other week. Yeah, because then we had into the we had Spider Man No Way Home that had a sappy. It actually had a sad ending. Not really much of a sappy ending. I don't know. Well, let's talk about this. Yep. But anyway, other bads. I mean, like I said, I didn't understand what was happening a lot of times, but that's all my that's all my own fault because I didn't watch the first one. But I will say, a lot of movies that do have a second one, they do tend to go back. And like kind of recap some things. I didn't see anything like that. So maybe I just missed it. Or maybe there wasn't. And that's about it. There's just not a lot of whole like bads. But some of the CGI got ridiculous though. I will say yeah, that. It did get a little heavy handed. Yeah. yeah. Some of the CGI got a little ridiculous at times. And then there were some creatures here and there. That were yep. no explanation. And yep. It did try to explain how the multiverse worked and stuff. But yeah. it was just a little confusing. Oh, another thing I will say. They tried to add comedy into some point, didn't really work. No. And it was just like one-liner jokes. Just made it silly. It didn't work at all. I'm sorry, Benedict, but we love you, man, but your one-liners <laughs> didn't work. So with that being said, let's jump into the reviews. I'll go first, and I'll make it quick because I'm sweating my you-know-what off. I'm going to say 7 out of 10. I think it was a solid movie. Usually it's like yeah, my... I that's usually my average for like a, a superhero movie. I don't think there's been a superhero movie we've done that was a lower than that. If there is, I'll flash it. But I'm going to say 7 out of 10. It kept my interest. I love action. I love fight scenes. There was a lot of them, even though they were using magic powers, not our magic powers. <laughs> other magic powers. I mean, ignore his shirt he's in case, wearing. In case you don't know, we're magicians. Yep. As you can tell by his shirt. But 7 out of 10. I'll give green, it a 3. I'm going to tell you, what are you, Green Lantern? No. You need to give it a three. I'm giving it a three. I didn't like it. All right. Well, with that being said, average score, you know what it is. Pop it up right now. King Wit. Five. Right. <laughs> Do we recommend this movie? I think if you're going to watch this movie, it deserves to be watched on the big screen with all the CGI yeah. put into it. Don't even bother on a small screen. Yeah. Don't even bother on your phone. Don't even bother on Netflix. Oh, don't bother on any illegal streaming platform that we don't <laughs> condone. Which you shouldn't do anyway. Exactly. You should pay for this movie. It's worth it. Yeah, we had to pay for it. You should pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, we're trying to come back a little bit more. I think life has calmed down a little bit for both of us. And if you're into this stuff, uh, stick around after the credits. Oh, definitely. If All the way to the end. It's Marvel. You always have end credit scenes. Okay. Well, with that being said... I'm Nate Heater. And I'm Frank LaMontia. And we, we are, are the, the Sub Dudes. Dudes. So long, and we're glad to be back. Sayonara. That's not a middle finger. There's two fingers there. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>